Both fighters standing toe-to-toe -to -toe as Brian gives the, the rules there. Didn't blink an eye. Both guys staring each other. Ready for a I'm good one. I'm excited for this one, man. You're going to see a lot of uh, good technique, a lot of uh, patience. Brandon finding uh, <laughs> just unbelievable. He's the defending champ here, fighting out of Makito. Of course, we've seen a lot of Makito guys yes. tonight. It's Scott Noble fighting out of ground control. Ground control, fight. another great academy as well. Makito and ground control. A lot of respect to them. Both coming out. Toe to toe here in the middle of the ring on the Domino's logo right Brandon here. Brandon more active. Brandon looks like he's going to be moving a lot more. A lot of movement to his stance. Nothing. It's just his style. Good catch of the leg here. Let's see if he goes for a takedown. Brandon starts to work a guillotine there, but has nothing too serious. Scott's want to keep him against a cage here. Both trying to work their technique. You might want to see Brandon get a wider base. We'll see, but it looks like he is working a guillotine a little bit. Brandon in the red gloves, Scott, Scott in the blue gloves. Scott's keeping that posture so that uh, Brandon can get his head down for that guillotine, but Brandon's going to keep working. All right, not there. Good takedown, but we'll see if he takes his back here. Very nice taking his back by Brandon. But uh, there's a Scott with his hips to turn through. Very nice. Getting him against the cage. So a very neutral position here, but if uh, you know Scott can keep him against the cage, he will have the advantage here. Both fighters, both fighters, very technically sound. Yes, definitely. Both stand up and ground. So we're going to see some uh, precision here on the ground. We'll see how Scott wants to do this. Does he want to pass? Does he want to punch? Does he want to elbow? What does he want to do here? While Brandon's looking for a sweep or submission, doesn't look like he's trying too much to you know get his back against the cage to walk up to stand again. So he is working jujitsu here. Good patience by Scott to posture up. Very important to posture up. But uh, there you see Brandon holding on to that uh, right arm of Scott to keep him down low, controlling that head, controlling his posture. Nothing serious yet, no, no major strikes yet. You know, both fighters know that 15 minutes is a long time, and I think right. they try to pace right. themselves. Right, they know. They know if this going to go the distance. Waste the energy, yeah. Cannot gas out here. But at the same time, you don't want to give up anything crazy, so we'll see how this goes. Well, some guys like to come out in these title fights and just get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> just start throwing blows. Hey. Both these guys came out, measured each other up. They're on the ground, taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're both working here. Good technique from both parts. Brandon not taking anything serious, which is important right here. He hasn't taken any blows. It's a very neutral position here. Scott looking to pass those legs. Brandon now side controlled by Scott. But he's going to use that cage to get away. He's trying to turn out. Let's see what he does here. Side control, very calm. You see Scott very calm right now. He does have the advantage here in side control, obviously. Keeping that side control still, not too much happening. This is where the crowd starts to play a part in this. Right. If you're, if you're, you know, they're going to start booing, they're going to start right trying though. to make it. Yeah, and you know what? These guys got to keep their composure and do what they feel like they need to do to win this fight. Brian Cunningham has been refereeing this for the GCA for a long time. Ten. Yeah, very good referee, and he'll stand you up if it feels like you're not absolutely, sitting. He absolutely, absolutely. He wants to see the show, too. Yeah. Scott keeping a good side pressure here. I mean, uh, Brandon's not doing much. He's got to work. It looks like Scott's trying to like you know wear him down a little bit so he gets an opening. Maybe to take him out. Maybe to work some submission. We'll see here. There he goes. He's trying to work around. Need a belly. He's need a belly. There he goes. Now he has mount. We'll see what he does here. He postures up. We'll see some strikes to the face here. Obviously, there's a left. Brandon's staying close to his body so that uh, he can't strike right now with any bows or punches. He's going to use this cage. We'll see what he does here. Very smart to use the cage here. He moved over there, very smart. Just shows the patience. Very nice reversal there. Very nice. So Brandon now has top, and he wants to he wants to get him back a little bit. So here we go. But nothing serious, you know. As you can see, Scott very controlled. Very controlled. He's controlling his head and arm here. You know, all the right body shots by Brandon don't really affect much. But there you go. See Brandon pushing on his face, trying to get through so he can posture up, do another bow, do another punch to the face. Everybody over here in the Makito corner, tell him Brandon, let's go. Turn yes. up the volume. Yes. You hear them saying, posture, strike. Yeah. Very important. We'll see how he does. But as you see, Scott doing the same thing that Brandon was doing to him. Controlling the arm, controlling the head as he should. Waiting for his opportunity. Does he want to do a sweep here? Does he want to work a submission here? This is what he's going over with right now. And it's all about energy right now. Right, much, right, right. How much are we going to exert in this? Right, Scott's cornered, letting him do his work. They, they know, you know, Scott's very confident in his skills. They're going to let him work right now. 
Still got a couple of more title fights this evening in the next uh, two fights here. Uh, Raul Zapata and Dewey Lee, we'll see them coming up in the 11th fight. Both fighters stand, stand up. back up. There we go, we'll see how this goes. Another neutral position, but I mean, obviously Scott has the advantage keeping Brandon against that cage. Try to left knee there, not too much. Brand starting to breathe a little heavy here, but so is Scott. So very neutral right now, if you ask me. I said, we hear the bell, so we got about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. The wood. That was a quick five minutes. It was. We'll see if there are a lot of exchanges here. They want to finish that round. Who's going to get this first round? That's the end of round number one as both fighters make their way over to their corners and their seconds come in with the stools. Don't forget the Ultra Bar. That'll be where the after party is. You guys head on over there. 21 and older, there's no cover. 18 to 20, you got $5. So make sure you make your way over there. If you're 18 to 20 uh, and you work your way over there and you got the card that you found on your seat, that's your $5 admission. That gets you through the door. Also, don't forget about our upcoming events out in Chantilly. Uh, October 25th, we'll be out at the end zone. That'll be our next event. And then we have, for our boxing fans, We'll be doing 9-11 fights for World Police and Fire Games. That's the exhibition fights, but for more details for that, 911fights.com. Don't forget also our sponsors this evening. Got to thank the folks from Domino's, Hooters, and Chantilly. Chantilly. Uh, the folks over at Freedom Bail Bonds who've been with us since the inception. Max Muscle also. Primetime and A-Town, both owned by the Corderos. They have a great facility over there. Sand yes. screens, printing, fair Love field the Cordero, Yes, they're awesome. Dawson's Associates, Guardian Education Fund, who's here with the Gracies, Gracie Bulletproof, and Gracie Survival Tactics. Round number two of this title fight coming up. They are five five-minute rounds. Got to thank the folks from the Green Turtle, Creative Webworks, and Cigar Spirits and Magazines also for being a sponsor tonight of OO Fights 32. Good right straight. Right, right haymaker. Hand. So, I mean, if you ask me, first round goes to Scott, but, I mean, it's very even right now. Very even. Both displaying good Tough control. Tough judge on that first yes, round. Yes, absolutely. I would not want to be a judge on that first let round. Let him go. Let him go. Set him up. Both corners saying let it go. Let it go. So you're going to see a lot more action, I think, with strikes this round. Brandon definitely seems to have a reach advantage, definitely. Brandon uh, landed a couple of rights and lefts. Right. Counter. Scott's got a good posture when he keeps Brandon against that cage. Doesn't let, uh, you know, Brandon get that uh, guillotine kind of work there. He's trying to get that under underhook with his right arm. Okay, but Scott's got a good posture, keeping his pressure, using his skeletal system to keep him against that cage instead of his muscle. Little right taps by Brandon, trying to still work. Get a few points. Knees to the thigh, they sting. A lot of people go, oh, what's that doing to you? But those knees, short yeah, bony knee to the thigh, yeah. Absolutely, a little Charlie horse, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it will affect you if it lands perfectly. Good left hand from uh, Scott. So let's see what Scott wants to do here. Does he want to go for a takedown? Does he want to strike? We'll see. Brandon definitely looking for underhooks. So it looks like he's doing. He's not getting too much of a wide base, but that's his style. He's looking for a throw there. Might be a little risky when you're a little slippery. Oop. They're breaking it up. Right. Not, not action, here we go. Good job by Brian, breaking that up. Yeah, Got some action going. Another right overhand. Well, that's Scott Noble just Brandon, right hand. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon laughing it off. He brought that back. Oh, another left hook. Yeah. I like that left hook impact. Look, he can't open his right eye a little bit right now. Yeah, he got caught. Yeah, he did. Whether or not he was hit or he got caught with a fingernail. Well, he's still he moving. Caught. He's yeah. still moving. Oh. Like, Kick attacks. Brandon's corner saying he's tired, he's tired, move in. I don't know if Scott is I tired. don't think so, I, I, <laughs> I agree. Scott, you know, keeps that pressure moving forward on him, but Brandon's got good head movement, so we'll see how this continues to pail out. Just nothing being thrown very fast. Like Scott's been telegraphing a couple right. of his punches, some overhands. Just right. nothing with any assertiveness yet. They, they, they both respect each other, obviously, in their skills, so they don't want to throw too much crazy stuff and get caught with something silly. Yeah. Yeah. Kick and exchange there from both of them. Now Scott's moving. Yeah, Scott's the one moving now. Yeah. It's interesting how the pace has changed. Daddy, daddy. Start getting some tags in there and stuff like that. A little spinning kick, nothing didn't affect Scott at all. There's another good left hook. Did clip a little bit, but Brandon's okay. He's saying Superman punch to Brandon. They want to see a Superman punch. Another jab by Scott. There's a Superman right there. He is listening to his kick. You know, and corner. And what's funny is, is the corner yells it, and then you do it, and yeah. Scott knows it's coming. Right, 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 right. It's like you got to be thinking without your corner giving up your moves. They just have enough confidence in his skills that even if they know Scott knows it's coming, that will go well. Oh, nice right, right hand right there. That one caught Brandon Murchison yeah. right on the left side of the cheek. 
You know, Scott's left arm with those hooks and those jabs, I mean, they are connecting and they will continue to impact, you know, Brandon's uh, right side of the face. As you know, he already got like hit in the eye a little bit, so. Nothing affected Scott. See, Scott is uh, very, com you know, composed right here. Another good jab. Definitely getting this round so far with these uh, quick left straights and left body shots, left hooks. But Brandon's still doing a great job. I mean. Little leg kick there. Little shin to shin action. It's always nice. Both breathing through each other out. Like I said, both respect each other a lot. Do not want to give up anything crazy. Yeah, nobody wants to get into that zone to get knocked out exactly. right here. Exactly. Especially both guys of their caliber. Yeah. Both looking to go pro very round, soon. Round number two. I'm going to bet when you see round number three come around that they're going to ramp it up. Absolutely. Especially how even it is right now. Great exchange right there from both Scott and Brandon. Oh, he's fine. Both people are fine right now. Brandon a little more fatigued, but yeah. not too much to where it shows too much. Nothing crazy. It looks like Brandon's going to be setting up a kick, some kind of Brandon kick Brandon sits very still. He doesn't do a lot of moving. Scott seems right. to be a little he fidgety. Was, he was moving a lot in the beginning, but now Brandon's the calm one. Scott's a little more fidgety, so maybe they're both just in their rhythm. They both showed one rhythm, came out with another one for the second round. I mean, maybe a strategy, maybe it's just the way the body works. Good right straight there, Superman, but there goes Scott to get him back. Good right knee there. He backs out. Both corners yelling forward. Both corners yelling forward. Ten seconds left in this round. Let's see who wants this. Get a couple more points in here right now. There it is, the end of round number two between Brandon Murchison and Scott Noble. Scott Noble fighting out of ground control in the blue corner. Brandon Murchison fighting out of Makito in the red corner. Right. I, I mean, just kind of a boring second round. Um, yeah, boring, but I mean, I got as a fighter, I got to I know what they're doing, man. Like we talked about, they don't want to give up anything crazy. You know, when, it's, when it comes down to it, it's not the fans. I don't, we know the fans want to see action, but they both want this win. Whether it's by decision, knockout, or sure. submission, they both want this win. Brandon doesn't want to give up the belt, and I don't blame him. Exactly, but right now, if you ask me, Scott's got the first two rounds. You know, they're probably, the corner's probably telling Brandon right now, come out and win these. Yeah, we... Both seconds in there talking to their fighters. Yes. I'm sure that both of them are being talking about technique. I'm sure both Absolutely. of them are telling you gotta ramp it up because you do not want to leave this. And honestly, the Scott, dude, his conditioning is honestly very impressive. He was coherent with his coach, listening to everywhere he said, answering him, and he popped up right out of that seat. Brandon a little more fatigued here, but this is I mean he's he knew he's the champ right now. So he's gonna show why he's the champ this third round. And uh but right I, now. I would think that Scott has to come at him. I would think that Scott Noble, if he wants this belt, belt have to absolutely come at him. because they do favor the yeah. belt holder. Yeah. So we'll see. But Scott does have more energy. Here he comes with a left kick there by Brandon. Good left hook by Brandon. Yeah, they're, 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 they both know they need this round. It's up in the air because Scott might have the first two rounds, but maybe they are going to rule in favor of Brandon, who holds the belt. Maybe it's not enough for Scott to take that belt. Already, you can tell that they're ramped up. Yes. Yes, both corners told them the right things, and they said, hey, we got to move forward. We got to punch a little harder. We got to do stuff. Both calm, but like I said, I think uh, Brandon's a little more fatigued than Scott, but not too much. I mean, definitely both show that they might be ready for pro caliber, you know, being able to use five minute rounds. So, nobody's been seriously hit really hard except from the, uh, that left hook that Scott did in the first round to uh, Brandon's Oh, Good combo there from Brandon. There's a good clinch from Scott. Both fighters well conditioned as Brandon makes a couple of moves. Right, but uh, Scott, you know, retaliates and gets him against the cage again where he likes him to be. Brandon looking for a throw here. He's trying to step through and get a hip toss there. But once again, Scott's got that good pressure. He uses his skeletal system along with his muscular system to keep him against that cage with that posture. Light knees from Scott, nothing serious. Controlling that hip. Brandon trying to get that grip off. Good take down there from uh, Scott. He's going to start working either the back or side control here. I'm going to tell you, neither one of these fighters want to leave this up to the judges. Because no. right now, it is pretty no. even. Very. But right now, you know, another takedown by Scott. He's still in it. No. Brandon stands up, uses the cage to stand up again. Scott had a good position to maybe take some side control, but Brandon, you know, controlled uh, Scott's wrists and arms, so he couldn't do that. Both very slippery at this point. A lot of sweat. 
Brandon's corner time to swim inside as he should get those underhooks because uh, Scott's got very good control, inside control. And coming up on 13 minutes of fighting, both guys are pretty exhausted absolutely, right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Scott looking to get some kind of trip here, take his back, maybe a throw, we'll see here. He does have a good lock on his uh, with his hands, so he does have a strong lock here. Will that wear him out? We'll see it. Here's another trip. Here we're going to see a right trip. It looks like he's trying to work. Brandon's corner saying, open up your base. Well, he reversed it here. Now he's got Scott against. Let's see if Scott's fatigued a little bit. Little shoulder shrug there to Scott's net. Brandon's working for that takedown as his corner is ordering him to. Both showing some fatigue, but I mean, they're still punching fairly decent. Nothing that's uh, going to hurt him, nothing that's not going to hurt him. Brandon's still looking for that throw. He's trying to step in with that left and throw it over that hip, hip toss to the judo. Another great takedown by uh, Scott, a little trip. So we'll see what there, another, another good throw there. Now Scott wants to take this here. You know, he knows he's probably got this fight. He has been controlling this fight. But once again, if you want to take a belt from a champ, you yeah, got to do gotta, some damage. Yeah. You have to do some damage. So he needs to yeah. pass that left leg out, get out of half guard, or get side control, or full mount, and get some damage to take this. If he finishes doing that, he has this in the back. So here's side control. So let's see what Brandon does from here. A lot of times, this guy's being conservative. You know, you may have to just let yourself out there. And right. Let's go fight. Left knee to the hip, nothing serious. But that's what y'all yes. see. Let's see another one of that. Scott, Scott keeps doing stuff like that. You know, yeah. he's getting these points. He's getting these takedowns. He's getting. He's, he's controlling this fight. And I think the, the corner over here from Makito understands that. And Absolutely. Has to get up. Absolutely. Left knee to the belly. He wants to probably work to either, you know, knee control, knee to belly control, or he wants to slide that knee all the way through and get full. There it is, right there. So now we have full. Full mount here, and now this is where Scott could say, give me the title right here, if he just gets some damage done. You know, Brandon's still fighting. He's throwing, Good even left. though he's mounted, he's throwing. He wants to let yeah. Scott know, I'm not quitting right now. Yeah. He wants to keep the title, so he's going to try to hook that arm, maybe get like a, a buck and roll. We'll see. That, you know, the corner is saying, roll him, roll him, as he should, but good couple left of, elbows. A couple of them. A couple of good left Absolutely. elbows. Absolutely. Those elbows just do so much damage. If Scott stays on top here, he wins this match. Yeah. Understand that. If Brainer reverses this, it's going to want to throw bombs and take it back from him. So we're a very interesting situation right here. But like I said, Scott has this match if he stays on top. And, and a couple of elbows that he's thrown really connected hard. Absolutely. And, and that just takes it out of you. Absolutely. And Brandon knows it's coming down to the final. It's under two minutes. It might be under a minute. There's another elbow from Scott. Those are three strong elbows that, that most people are like, oh, he doesn't seem phased. They sting you. They sting you. Those are never nice. Good work from Scott, keeping that, you know, he's, he, he's got a, a good strength in, man. You yeah. saw it when he had Brandon against the cage. Now you see it on the ground. And, and let's see if, if Ryan stands him up. But as long I, as no, they, they, they won't that, stand him up. They won't stand him up. He has that. mount. He has mount. They, he would not stand him up. He has mount. Ten seconds left in the round. And here we go. We'll see how Scott finishes this. He wants to get at least one more bow. There's one. He's going to do something, maybe a hammer fist here. Another bow. And That's it. It's going to be tough to see, but I got Scott in overrun this. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's go uh, find out who the winner is here. OO Fights 32, the co-main event between Brandon Murchison and Scott Noble right now.
Thank you. 